Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. Now, uh, I'm hoping I can do this kind of fast because my voice is has been gone for the last little while. It's just started to come back, but it still feels like if I put too much strain on it, that it will not that it will stop working. That I'll lose my voice again. So hopefully I don't do that today. Um, we're going to work on the 3D Mage RPG game. And I'm really excited for it. Um, unfortunately, this is just like a short edition. This is like video 2A or 2B or something. Because all we're going to do is fix the trees so that the depth works on them. Um, but basically we have to re program the entire trees so uh, really quick before we get into the tutorial I just wanted to mention that I'm still working on my game maker language book if you want to check that out the link is in the description okay let's get started uh, first let's might as well just delete these delete the object tree and the object leaves now come up into your sprite and go into trees and duplicate sprite leaves one and we're gonna call this sprite well let me check something here real quick um, I'm trying to remember exactly how I did this oh yeah we're gonna call this sprite tree okay and you can just drag it down to the bottom here come in here um, to sprite leaves two. just click on this do control C um, Press the green check mark, come into sprite tree, edit sprite, click out here, control V. Um, do keep original size and do place in center. So keep original size, place in center. Now you can see we have um, the base and the next one up. So we're going to uh, press the green check mark and we're going to do this again for the next one. So we double click on sprite leaves three. Control C, green check mark, open this up, control V, you keep original size, place in center, we're good. Okay, make sure that they're in order, in the correct order. So largest, smaller, smaller. Okay. Um, press the green check mark. You can press OK on leaves three. Let's come into leaves four. Control C. Control V. Now come in leaves five, edit, control C. I'm just doing this because there's really no reason why we should have five sprites when we can just have five frames instead. Uh, did I get all of them? Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're good. Okay, now you can actually uh, delete these sprites. We don't need them anymore. Delete. Delete. Now all we have left is sprite tree. Okay, we're going to create a new object. And you can call this object tree base. Okay. And we're going to create another object. Call this object tree leaves. Okay, for the base object, give it the sprite of sprite tree. Um, now we're going to add a create event. Add event, create event, come over to control. Uh, create the tree. So what we're going to do here is in order to have diff in order to control the depth for the trees correctly, we basically have to do a, a different object for each section of the tree so we can control the depth. And <clears throat> unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that's the only way to do it. I tried to think of a different way, but I think we have to do it this way. Um, we'll still do it in a way that should keep the game relatively quick. Uh, there won't be too many instances on the screen as long as you don't have an insanely dense forest. 
um, even then you'll you'll probably be okay first thing we're gonna do is image index equals zero because this is the base of the tree the image index is gonna be zero then we're gonna do image speed equals zero so that we don't cycle through the different frames of our tree sprite we're gonna do image angle equals random 360 this will uh, just randomize the angle of the base so that not all our trees look the same now we're gonna do a for loop for var i equals one i is less than five i plus plus you can still kind of hear my voice is not doing so well i still sound kind of sick var leaves equals instance create uh, let's see x y object tree leaves okay let's maximize this a little bit so you guys can see so we're looping through five times and we're creating <coughs> A new tree uh, or a new leaf leaf object each time leaves dot image index equals I all this does is it makes sure that we set this the image index of our leaf object to the correct leaf um, sprite that it should be whether it's a zero one two three or four you can see we're starting with one which is why in our for loop we have it starting at one so that the first leaf object that we create will have an index an image index of one which is the second one up and then it'll continue to add to it leaves dot depth equals negative 100 times i um, that's just to give them some depth leaves dot offset equals 1 12 divided by 5 times 5 minus i now this is another one of my magic formula things this just gets um, if you remember from the last video this just sets the different offsets for each leaf and this should be an i not a 1 I mess that up so 112 divided by 5 times parentheses 5 minus i Sweet, that's all that's in that create event. Now we're gonna add a draw event, and this is pretty easy. This is just gonna um, draw the shadow. Draw event. Draw the base and the shadow. Um, draw sprite, let's get this a little bit bigger so we've got room draw sprite ext sprite index image index x plus 16 y plus 16 1 1 image angle c black point 2 so we're just drawing our shadow now we need to draw self to draw the actual tree base awesome and that's it the tree base is pretty simple the complicated stuff comes in our tree leaves object so um, we're gonna set them to the sprite tree as well I'm gonna add a create event and drag over a script initialize the leaves object okay image speed equals equals zero so we don't cycle offset equals zero we're gonna you'll realize that when the tree creates the different leaf uh, leaf objects it'll um, override this but we do have to create it still image angle equals random 360 that just gives our leaves a little bit of variance as well Okay, now is the complicated part. Add a draw event. And this is the worst part, just like last time. 
draw the leaves. Okay, var x view equals view x view view current var y view equals view <coughs> excuse me y view view current var w view equals view w view view current divided by 2 var h view equals view h view view current divided by 2 you remember a lot of this code from the last video but I didn't want to be modifying and copying code around because it would be confusing I figured just starting from scratch on the trees would be the best course of action and I can probably I might just name this the second video and then just have the playlist point to this one instead of the other video if I can I'll check and see dis equals point distance x view plus w view y view plus h view x and y so this just gets the distance to the center of the view Okay, make sure we are in the room before we do anything. And 480 isn't exact, but it works. It work. <laughs> if this is greater than 480, exit. We don't need to do anything. Call this after the distance check just to yeah to optimize a bit dir equals point direction this is going to be the exact same arguments that we had up here so we can just copy them paste them var calc equals parentheses dis divided by four parentheses times one two three left parentheses offset times negative one right parenthesis divided by 112 right parenthesis plus one right parenthesis i think that's good var x dis equals length dir x calc dir var y dis equals length dir y calc y or let's see dir and this should be calc they're not cal draw the shadow I hate this part var shadow calc equals off offset divided by 120 divided by 20 uh, var shadow offset equals 1 2 3 left parentheses offset times negative 1 right parenthesis divided by 112 right parenthesis plus 1 times 80 what am I missing ah right parenthesis times 80 okay draw sprite ext sprite index image index x plus parentheses offset divided by 8 y plus parentheses offset divided by 8 again 1 1 image angle c black shadow calc plus point one mm, what's wrong ah, I forgot a comma there okay draw sprite ext sprite index image index x plus shadow offset 
Y plus shadow offset one one image angle C black bulk black shadow calc plus point zero two five. Okay. Now last draw the leaves. Draw sprite ext sprite index image index x plus x dis y plus y dis one one image angle image blend one that's the ugliest part so we should be done um, we just get the center of the view and the distance to the center of the view the direction to the center of the view make some calculations like considering our offset and stuff and then we draw our sprites based on those offsets that's basically all, all we're doing here it's very similar to the last video okay now let's come into our room and grab some of the tree base objects and we should be able to put quite a few of these scattered around the room sweet save the game and run and I sure hope this works sweet looks good oh except that our player uh, we need to set the depth on the base it should have a depth of at least negative 80 I think so do negative 80 on the base and really quickly to show that the to show that the um, layering works now let's stick a whole bunch of trees right on top of each other press play my poor voice and you can see now that the trees they layer correctly and your player can get lost in them so that looks really good in my opinion these this is two trees next to each other they layer really well now um, still running at 30 frames per second just like when we started looking really good I'm excited so uh, thank you guys for watching so much uh, be sure and check out my uh, game maker book in the description if you haven't yet I really appreciate everyone who has already supported me there it's been a lot of work but I've enjoyed it along the way and I'll be doing another video here soon where we'll add the ability to cast a spell into our mage game then we can start adding some enemies some health I'm really excited about this project so uh, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later